What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.2, 7.1.1, .1, 1, and 7.1 untethered. And when I say untethered, that means you do not have to plug your device back into your computer and rerun a certain portion of the jailbreak utility every single time you turn it off and back on to get it to function. So with this jailbreak, you can reboot your device as many times as you want and have no problems. It'll work exactly as it normally does. And this jailbreak does work on any device that supports iOS 7.1.2, 7.1.1, or 7.1 so just to round that up it is the iphone 5s the iphone 5c the iphone 5 the iphone 4s the iphone 4 the ipod touch fifth generation the ipad air the ipad fourth generation the ipad third generation the ipad 2 the ipad mini with retina display and the original ipad mini you guys will need a computer in order to do this jailbreak it doesn't matter whether it's a mac or windows computer they both work before you start this tutorial, make sure your device is running iOS 7.1.2, 7.1.1, or 7.1. You can check inside settings, general, about, and look at the version. And as you can see right there, I am running iOS 7.1.2, so I'm ready to begin this process. And make sure your device is connected to your computer through the USB cable. And you will need two things on your computer. The first thing you're going to need is iTunes. Now, you're not actually going to be using iTunes for this tutorial. However, you will need it installed on your computer in order to do this jailbreak. And the second thing that you will need is Pongu. And that actually is the program that we're going to be using to jailbreak our device. And of course, I will provide download links for both of these things down below in the description. And once you do have both of those things, you're going to want to right click on Pongu. And if you are on a Mac computer, you're going to select Open. And if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to select Run as Administrator. And I am on a Windows computer, so I'm going to select Run as Administrator. And then you're going to select Yes to this pop-up. And then you will get this pop-up. Now, it may take about 5 to 10 seconds to detect your device. But as you can see, it has detected my device as an iPod 5 running iOS 7.1.2. And once it does detect your device, all you have to do is select Jailbreak. And just a few seconds after selecting Jailbreak on your computer, you will get this slideshow on your computer. And what it's asking you to do is set the date on your device back to June 2nd, 2014. And to do that, you're going to want to go into settings on your device, go to general and scroll down to date and time and go in there and turn off set automatically. And after you do that, you will see the date pop up down here and you're going to select that. And again, you're going to set the date back to June 2nd, 2014. So you just want to scroll up here to June 2nd. Just scroll up to June 2nd, and once you are on June 2nd, just release, and then the jailbreak will continue. And throughout this entire process, do not disconnect your device, just keep it plugged in. And just a few seconds later, on your computer, it will tell you to tap the new Pangu icon on your home screen. So go ahead and exit out to the home screen, slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen, and you will see the Pangu app. You're going to want to tap on that application and select continue. Do not close this application, and as I said earlier, do not disconnect your device. And eventually your screen will go black and you will get this loading wheel that's completely normal. And then you will be on the Apple logo like this. And once your device reboots, slides unlocked to continue the jailbreak. And then you will get the loading wheel again. And eventually you will be back on the Apple logo just like this. And eventually your device will be at the lock screen. You can just go ahead and slide to unlock. And slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen and you will see Cydia. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.